Hey folks, so um, we're here to do a demo of Platform Line Managed Kubernetes Free Tier. Um, I'm at platformline.com and um, so you can see there's a, a call to action right here to deploy a cluster now. Um, so I'm going to click on that. Uh, it takes me to the sign up page. Uh, I'm going to fill in my information here. I'm going to click on accept for the terms and conditions and I'm going to go ahead and deploy it now. Um, so what it's doing is it's taking my input and now it's uh, sending me a validation code. Here, uh, the code came in pretty quickly. I'm gonna copy it. You can also just click on the link here, which will take you back uh, to where you started. Um, I'm gonna copy the code here, and I'm gonna create a password. Then um, I'm gonna go ahead and deploy the account. Um, so this should take about a few seconds or so, um, after which should, the account should get deployed, and uh, we should be able to sign in and um, proceed forward to create a cluster. So um, the account got deployed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign in now. And I'm going to go ahead and sign in. So um, we're inside. Um, and you can see the step-by-step -step wizard that's on the dashboard uh, that's walking me through uh, the steps um, it's recommending that I do next. Um, and the first recommended step is to create a cluster. Uh, so that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to switch and get into an existing environment. Um, and uh, this environment has been pre-populated with about four clusters. Um, and you can see the dashboard that gives me um, a lot of statistics around how many nodes and pods I have, um, how many users and tenants are deployed. Uh, Managed Kubernetes is a multi-region, multi-tenant platform. So you, uh, the core concept is a concept of uh, tenancy and regions. Um, there is a default region that gets created when you deploy a managed Kubernetes account and a default tenant called service tenant that gets created, but you can create more. Um, so I'm logged in um, as my user uh, into this tenant, service tenant. Um, and what I'm gonna go ahead is go to the infrastructure view. Uh, this is where I get perspective into all of the different clusters that are created. As you can see, there are some Azure clusters created here um, and some just bare metal uh, Kubernetes clusters. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a new cluster. Um, the PMK free tier today supports creating clusters on three main endpoints, um, bare metal environment, uh, including just physical Linux servers uh, running Ubuntu um, or virtual machines running Ubuntu, um, as well as uh, Amazon AWS and Azure. Uh, so for this demo, we're going to create a bare OS or bare metal cluster. And bare OS is just the term uh, PMK uses to refer to clusters uh, created with your bare metal servers or virtual machines. Okay, so I'm going to give this a name. PMK bare OS. And um, as you can see, so the wizard is now asking, you, asking me to select one or more nodes uh, to be part of my cluster. Um, I've done some pre-steps here though uh, for these nodes to show up. Um, I had pre-configured um, these nodes by downloading and installing the Platform 9 CLI. Um, if this is your first step with Platform 9, then this grid will most likely be empty. And you will see these instructions around how to prepare a node one or more nodes uh, to get them added um, with the Platform 9 agent and Platform 9 CLI so that they are ready to be added to a Platform 9 BROS cluster. Um, so let's actually follow these instructions and do this process on one node. I have an extra node here um, that is Ubuntu 16.04, um, but that hasn't been prepared. So I'm going to follow through this process. Um, it tells me the first step is to download the Platform 9 CLI. Um, so I'm going to get the CLI. I'm going to go ahead. Um, and now it's validating my credentials. And um, the installation succeeded. So now you can see, um, if I can type uh, pf 9 ctl help, you can see the different options um, that the CLI provides. Uh, the main one that we're going to use is the cluster command, ctl cluster help. Um, so the cluster command um, lets you do things like attach nodes to an existing cluster or bootstrap a simple single node cluster or um, create a multi-master cluster um, or prepare a node uh, so you can then finish cluster creation using the PMK UI. Um, so it's the fourth option that we're going to run right now. Um, so I'm going to just say 
pf9ctl cluster prep node i localhost um, so one thing to note is the CLI is able to um, connect to one or more remote nodes as long as you have the appropriate SSH keys copied over to those nodes uh, and do run any of these commands that you're looking at on the local node as well as the remote nodes, um, which means you only need to install the CLI once um, on one of your nodes, and then you can use it multiple times to either prepare your nodes or create clusters, or etc. Um, for now, we're just going to use it to prepare this local node, um, and this will take about a few minutes. Okay, so um, the node preparation is complete, and you can see, um, and so let's quickly look at what the IP address of this node is. Um, you can see it has a local IP address of 72.27.47. Um, it also has a uh, floating IP address, uh, but so if we go back to uh, the PMK UI here, and if we refresh it, then um, we should be able to see that node um, 47, and this is the node. Uh, so the node shows up pretty quickly, um, and I had a couple of these other nodes that were prepared already. Uh, so at this point, we're ready to go ahead and um, create a cluster. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these three nodes. Um, I'm going to select them as master nodes, and I'm going to say enable workload um, on all masters. So these are our masters as well as workers. At this point, I'm ready to click Finish and Review. Um, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and also select some workers and then to do additional networking configuration. For example, configure MidLLB, which is a um, built-in load balancer that we provide uh, that allows you to um, provide service type load balancer um, for your workloads, uh, for your services, deployments, etc. cetera. Uh, we're not going to do that for this particular demo. So I'm going to go ahead and say Finish and Review. Um, there we go. And so now the cluster is being created, um, and it navigated me to the cluster node health page. Um, and this is a, a nifty little uh, place to get, get live updates on uh, the different nodes that are part of your cluster, um, what's being installed and configured on them, what's the status of those nodes, etc. So you can see that the three nodes showed up, um, and the status is still waiting for the nodes. So the UI is trying to get some additional information um, about what's really being configured on those nodes. And you can now see uh, more data is starting to be populated. Uh, you can see that this particular node is going through step one of about 24 steps um, as part of the installation and configuration process. Um, and you can see details of what's being installed here. Um, and the good thing about that is if for some reason the installation fails at some point, then you as a self-service user have clear visibility into exactly which step failed. Um, you're also able to view the logs. Um, these are platform line logs, PMK logs, that are um, uh, stored on your node or the host, uh, but they're also pulled by the UI to give you a quick preview. Uh, and that also helps in quickly debugging uh, if you run into any issues. Um, so you can switch to any of these nodes and see the progress status here. Um, they're all being configured in parallel. Um, you can see that they're all kind of at a similar point at this point where um, the various steps are being configured um, on them. So this one node completed, and so uh, the other two nodes are still going through the installation process. Um, so uh, we need to wait for all of them to finish uh, before the cluster creation succeeds. OK, so it looks like all three nodes um, finished through all of the tasks successfully. Uh, the cluster status is still converging. Um, the backend is most likely finishing up the last bits of cluster creation. Um, and now, as you can see, uh, this is the cluster that I created. And it's still in the converging state. Uh, so we'll give it a few more seconds before it finishes um, creation. OK. so. The cluster is up now and all healthy, um, and we can go into the cluster details and see that there are these three nodes um, with API server enabled uh, as they are all master nodes. Uh, they're also workers because uh, they're um, set up to run workloads as well. Um, and uh, going back to the infrastructure view, uh, selecting on any of these clusters, you see multiple operations that are available. 
um, on, on the cluster. Um, one of the useful features is having uh, Prometheus and Grafana installed out of the box um, on the cluster. And um, once uh, they're up and running and configured, then you're able to navigate through the monitoring view and look at um, the details on all the different alarms that were configured um, with Prometheus uh, with respect to that cluster and get a lot of good additional visibility there. Um, and so that's it for a quick demo of PMK Free Tier and how to sign up. Um, stay tuned for more um, videos and tutorials from Platform 9. Thank you for watching. Thank <music> you.